Hi, this is Matt with TomatoMilling.com. Today we're going to show you the Squeezo Strainer. Squeezo Strainer has been around for many, many years, generations even. We still get calls from individuals that have their grandma's Squeezo Strainer. The parts are all the same from the very first Squeezo Strainer to today's model. We have all the replacement parts on our website. I'm going to take you through the kit and what you get and how this machine works. This box is the standard kit. The standard kit comes with the hopper, the body, the tomato screen, the spiral, the chute, the handle, the brush, the Squeezo recipe book, and the wooden pusher handle. An alternate kit you can get, or you can buy the screen separately at a later time if you decide you need them, is the Squeezo Deluxe Strainer, or the screens themselves, this is the pumpkin screen. Notice the holes are much larger in the pumpkin screen than in the tomato screen. The size of the holes determines what size seed can fit through it. So you wouldn't want to use this with a tomato because the tomato seeds would actually go right through these holes. Pumpkin seeds are much larger and you need a larger hole to be better puree a pumpkin body. This is a berry screen. Note the holes are much smaller on the berry screen. The hole size on a tomato would allow berry seeds to get through. So if you want to make jams and preserves using your berries, the berry screen is for you. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through the process of how your tomatoes become a tomato puree ready for canning or using in a sauce. First, you cut up your tomatoes. You need to cut them up a size that will fit through the neck of this hopper. You fill up your hopper bowl, use your wooden pusher, push them through, as you turn your handle. Let me give you some information on the hopper bowl, then I'll take you through a little bit further in more detail. Hopper bowl is nine inches in diameter by four and three quarter inches in depth. This is actually a larger hopper bowl for uh, hand cranked tomato milling machines. It's because this machine can actually turn out quite a few tomatoes in an hour. If you are gonna do a hand cranked machine, this is a very good option for about the highest amount of production you would do before turning over to an electric machine. Very good. Now that we have the hopper off, you can see down into the neck. First, measurement of the neck is approximately two and a half inches in diameter. So for most regular tomatoes, quartering them will do just fine to fit them down the neck. As I turn this, you can see how the spiral will guide the tomatoes down against the screen. This is the largest part of the spiral. It grabs the tomato. Now let me loosen up the screen so I can take that off. You'll notice the spiral gets smaller and smaller. This will press the tomato against the screen tighter and tighter. It essentially wrings out the tomato. It wrings the juices out and the juices and the meat of the tomato are forced through these holes and down the chute into your collector then the seeds and the skin get pushed out the very end and the very end then goes into a separate bowl of collection of refuse. You can use the refuse for things like gardening and uh, salsa, salads, if you do like eating the skins and the seeds, uh, or you can just throw them away. One last thing I want to measure for you, because it's important, is the length of the spiral. It is five and a half inches. The reason this is important is the longer the spiral is, the more tomato can fit in the spiral at a time, the faster your production will be. This is a moderately sized, it's about the most you would want for a hand crank tomato milling machine because the other factor involved, the larger the spiral, the more tomato, the harder it is going to be to turn. So once you get over about five and a half inches, it's best to turn it over to an electric machine so you don't have to bog down when you have it full of tomato. Now, the Squeezo Strainer is made in America. It is one of the only ones on the market that is made of America, and it's made of all metal. Everything here is metal. The body is cast aluminum. It's very lightweight, very easy to manage. This is aluminum. This is aluminum. There's nothing about that that's going to rust. Uh, nothing's going to fall apart. Nothing's going to discolor. Uh, it's a very well-made machine. It's been liked for decades, and it will continue to be on the market and liked for decades to come. One important part you need to know about the Squeezo tomato milling machine is it clamps to a tabletop. 
You notice I have it at its full extension now, and I had a clamp to our table. Our table is two and a half inches in thickness. This is about the maximum that you can have your table. If you have a butcher block that's thicker than that, you'll have to find a different table or surface to attach it to that is smaller than two and a half inches. Thank you for watching our video. At tomatomilling.com, we are dedicated to tomato milling machines. We have parts available for all the machines we carry. We have instructional videos, informational videos, instruction manuals, and a well-educated staff to help you make the right choice for your situation. We have staff that is available seven days a week. We have phone support. We have live chat. We have email support. However you want to reach us, we're available, and we have your answers that you need. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.